Hi and welcome to another review on RSL iPhone. I am super hyped about this one because it ended up being a really nice quadcopter with high quality components, perfect for someone who would like to join the FPV racing community. And that's also why I decided to make a quick video showing you how to assemble this quadcopter. The assembly was so easy, it was just a pure pleasure to put together. Something I forgot to mention though was that this is not a ready to fly kit, meaning you will have to buy a transmitter, receiver, batteries, FPV goggles and a charger separately. I will give you links to the description below to all these products. With that being said, let's take a close look at the specifications and overall design of this quadcopter. The Emax motors works very well with the Little Bees speed controllers. Plenty of power with a 4 cell battery or step it down to 3 cell and it will be perfect for a beginner. Not sure if the system is compatible with 5 cell batteries, that might be pushing it a little too much. So if you want to avoid anything catching fire, stick with the 4 cell batteries. The antenna feels quite weak and flimsy so you probably want to reinforce it with heat shrink tubing or even a couple of turns with some electrical tape will probably do it. Otherwise it might tear off in event of a crash. The first component I would upgrade is the camera, however that's just a personal reference. The included camera has a really sharp image, uh, but you compensate by a more narrow field of view, which I personally don't like. So I will upgrade to a Foxeer 2.1mm camera that will give me a lot wider field of view. I want to applaud their decision to include a SPF3 racing controller. Very easy to set up and the performance of this flight controller really translates to a nice behavior and very stable flying. In conclusion, I would rate this quadcopter kit to be very suitable for beginners all the way up to expert pilots. I think that shows good high quality components. It's very easy to assemble and configure. I can't say too much about the durability because I haven't flown it enough, but based on how well built the frame looks, I would guess it's up for some serious racing. 
A flight video will be up in just a couple of days. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please show some love and hit the like button below. Um, I also want to say that if anyone needs help with the build of this quadcopter, comment below and I will answer uh, most likely within a couple of hours. Uh, also, don't forget to look in the description below. I put some good information down there. Uh, all right, that's pretty much it for today's video. Subscribe and I will see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye.